So how excited are you for the VMAs today? I'm really, really excited. I'm so happy to be here. Hanging with Miley all night? I don't know. <laughs> have you seen her? I, have I seen her today? No. Um, but I'm so ready for the show. So you can't give us any details about her performance? Or I have no details about anything. I don't know anything. I'm so out of the loop. I'm just so, here. I'm like, I don't know what to expect, but I'm here. I'm going to look cute and, you know, thank you. So you've been sharing your story on MTV through different blogs. What's been some of the good feedback you've heard from people who have read it? Some of the good feedback. Um, I mean, a lot of agender people coming to me and being like, thank you. I like now have a word for my identity. Um, I didn't know before. I always felt this way, but I never knew how to put it into words. And that's always really, really lovely to hear. And that's like why I do what I do is to help people. Um, you know, be the best possible version of themselves and to, you know, realize who they are and to be happy with themselves and own it. Do you feel more pressure now because now you're sort of becoming the face of the age under Um, the only pressure I feel is to be like the perfect trans person yeah. and that uh, there's like not a ton of room for like growth or like, s like slipping up and like, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like I have to like represent everyone and I can't possibly do that. I can always only speak for myself and be happy when other people resonate with that. So that's where the pressure comes in. But otherwise, I love being me and I love being in the spotlight because I'm cute and I have great things to say. And you're doing great. Thank you.